Hi, this is Jamie with the GPS store, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Garmin Rhino 755T. The Rhino 755T is the latest addition to the Garmin GPS FRS radio family. Through this demo, you're going to see the, the screen isn't as bright as uh, you'd want it to be, but what it is is it's a transflective display, and when you get it out into sunlight, it really pops. The display is a 3-inch touchscreen diagonal, very similar to the Garmin uh, Oregon 700 series units. It is a dual orientation, uh, so you can switch it to a landscape mode, or you can turn it back to a portrait. Uh, you can also go into your settings in your display, and you can do orientation lock, where you can lock it in portrait or landscape. Uh, for the demonstrative purposes here, we're going to leave it in the auto, and we're going to jump back out to our main screen. Now, the first thing to talk about is inside this unit is a 5-watt two-way radio, where you can communicate by voice, with anybody else that's uh, operating any FRS or GMRS radio as long as you're on the same uh, channels. If you hit that channel button, you're going to pull up your radio menu where you can set your icon and your name. Uh, you can touch these things and make edits so we can edit the channel there. Um, we can go back out and um, you see all your different options here. The Rhino series units like I said, we'll communicate with any FRS, GMRS radio out there. Uh, one unique feature to the Rhino family is that uh, Rhino compatible of two-way texting. You can text messages between them without using voice. Uh, it can be helpful if you're out hunting in a tree stand and you don't want to make noise, you can text back and forth. The internal FRS radio will actually also work with a Bluetooth enabled headset. So if you have a compatible Bluetooth headset, you can hook it up to this unit and be able to communicate through that Bluetooth headset. Now back on the home screen, we're going to go ahead and hit the map button, which is going to bring us to our GPS page. Again, like I said, it's going to function very similar to the Garmin Oregon 700 series units. Uh, it does come preloaded with the top of 100K maps for the United States. Uh, it includes one year of the bird's eye satellite imagery mapping. Uh, the touchscreen is very responsive, so zooming in, it's very, very quick uh, to zoom. On the same map screen, if you have other Rhino users and they're reporting their position to you, you will see them show up on the map uh, and you can see their movement and keep up with where their location is. Um, when you mark a waypoint, you can also geotag it with a picture using the 8 megapixel digital camera on the back of the unit. As I was saying, the Rhino unit operates very similar to the Oregon 700 series units, so you do have the ability to operate the unit in classic mode or activity mode. Right now we're in the classic mode, but if you want to change that, you can go into your menus, go into your system, and your mode button will be right here. You can change it to activity. And once you're in activity mode, it will cycle through different activities. The advantage to the activity mode is that if you prefer different settings or different um, operation in these modes, the unit will remember your individual settings for your mode. So if your hunting mode is different than your hiking as far as what you like to use for your uh, distances or your settings, your backlight, uh, that can all be adjusted in each activity. If you prefer the classic mode, you just get back into that system, go into the mode, and change it back to classic. Some of the physical specs of the Rhino 755T, the physical dimensions are 2.6 inches by 7.9 inches by 1.6 inches. The display, as I said, is a 3-inch touchscreen diagonal display. Uh, it weighs about 12.3 ounces with the battery pack included. Uh, the battery pack is a removable rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Because you are using a GPS and an FRS radio in one, that battery can drain pretty quickly. Uh, they say it lasts up to 14 hours, but if you want to, you can go into the setup. And in the setup, you can turn on battery save on the display. It'll allow you to save some battery life so that you can continue to operate your unit uh, without having to drain the battery quickly. Uh, the waterproof rating is IPX7. It's got a WASP GPS receiver in it, an 8 megapixel camera, barometric altimeter, electronic compass. Inside of this unit, I had already told you that it comes with the 100K topo maps uh, and the one year subscription to the bird's eye satellite imagery. You do have four and a half gigabytes of built in memory. You can put a micro SD card into the unit. Uh, it has storage for uh, 10,000 waypoints, 250 routes, and 20,000 track log points. The two-way radio features FRS and GMRS bands. It's 22 channels, uh, 38 squelch codes on CTCSS, and 83 on DCS. Uh, ranges up to 2 miles on FRS and up to 20 miles on GMRS. Uh, it does have voice activation. 
uh, location reporting to other Rhino units, vibration alerts, and NOAA weather. And you do have storage for up to 50 other Rhino contacts inside of this unit so you can keep up with where they are. Other outdoor features uh, include the hunt and fish calendar, sun and moon information, area calculation, picture viewer, and it is geocaching friendly. And that's a quick look at the Garmin Rhino 755T. The units are in stock, ready to ship right now. If you have any additional questions, you can visit us online at www.thegpsstore.com or give us a call toll free at 800-477-2611. Thanks for watching.